Hello everybody and welcome to The Sims Castaway Stories. We are going to be playing this brand new Let's Play with a game that's a little bit dated. I think this game came out in about 2008, but we're going to get started and I think it's going to be a lot of fun to play this summer. So we are with our little castaway Sim who has just landed on this deserted island, maybe deserted island. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We are playing the story part. So it does have a pre-made story that we're going to be able to play and do. So I've never done this story before, so I'm excited to see how it happens. And right now our goal is to get the hatchet. And if this mode looks a little bit familiar to you, if you're an old school Sims player, um, this is using the Sims 2, um, I guess, game generation. So it kind of looks like the Sims 2, but it is the Sims Castaway Stories. So let's go ahead and pick up this hatchet. And she also wants to get a rain tower, meet someone new, and flirt. Oh my goodness, she wants to flirt with somebody. And a hatchet. I hope this will come in handy. I wonder what else has washed it up. I'll walk to the beach and look around to see if there's anything else that might be useful. And now we have to go ahead and go explore and dig out this over here to see if there's anything in here that we can use, different types of supplies, maybe there's some food in there, or some tools, or some rope, or something like that. So let's go ahead and watch our sim, and I did name her Rosalie Castaway. So a little Rosalie here, she's gonna go ahead and dig out this, oh my goodness, look at it. She did it! And what is our next goal? Find more scavenge pieces. And it's a steamer trunk from the ship. The steamer trunk you have just picked up is now in your rewards inventory. Pick up the rewards button at any time during the game to examine, add, or to remove from your inventory. So it is go ahead and it is inside our inventory right here. And it looks like we do have um, a steamer trunk. And we can go ahead and place it if we want to and then click back to live mode so here's the steamer trunk and then we also have the hatchet too that's in our inventory so that's pretty cool uh, if you wanted to go ahead and place it down on the ground we'll have to find a place that has a good um foundation like right over there so there we go we had done it we have done it and we can go ahead and open this chunk um you can now click on the story mode icon at any time to read your journey journal entries oh my goodness we have journal entries, almost paradise. All right. I found a hatchet on the beach. I have a feeling I'll need everything and anything that I can get my hands on to survive this island. I picked it up, of course. I get shipwrecked on my first exotic getaway. I knew I should have flown. It's okay, at least I have my own health and a hatchet. What could I possibly need? Note to self, sarcasm helps. Waste not, want not. I comb the beach for anything else that might be useful, like a travel agent. Instead, I find a steamer trunk from the ship, buried on the beach. That means there could be things from the ship scattered around the island. Too bad the trunk isn't big enough to ride out of here. My luck, it's probably empty, or worse, filled with poisonous snakes. I put the trunk in my camp. It's sort of the centerpiece of my furnishings right now. Actually, it's my only furnishing. The steamer trunk will have to wear many hats for the time being. It's the only place I can store my stuff. What stuff? I need some stuff. All right, so this is awesome. So we have like a little journal entry of different types of things that we're doing in the game. So in case we forget what's going on, we can always go back and read some of that. And let's go ahead and open this and see, do we actually have anything inside this trunk? Do we? I hope we do. Uh, and it looks like it's probably empty. All right, so steamer trunk, current level zero, total capacity 250, so I think, ooh, we can study cooking, cleaning, and mechanical, ooh. All right, so it looks like there are some books in here that we can go ahead and study, and then we can write in our journal too, so that's pretty cool, but we are on a mission to kind of continue um, exploring this island and seeing what we can find, and we do have a goal to go ahead and get some coconuts. So I assume we can go ahead and drink some coconuts from the coconut trees. So let's go ahead and drink coconut. Let's go ahead and stop studying mechanical because we can't, you know, it's not really what we need to be doing right now. We don't need to be doing that. So let's put the book away and see what she does. Can she go? Oh my goodness. We are a monkey. We are a monkey. We can go ahead and climb this tree. Oh my gosh. And we're going to go ahead and get that coconut and a slide on down and go ahead and drink it uh 
first we need to crack it open with the rock though and then we can drink it oh that is so cool so yeah this is totally different from any type of sims game definitely haven't seen many coconut trees around that we can go ahead and climb up and get some coconuts um we also have a goal to collect coconuts so can we go ahead oh, i guess we can clean that up i wonder what we're gonna do place a trash pit um on the lot to dispose of the trash we don't have any trash pits right now can we we can go ahead and gather some coconuts let's go ahead and do that so we have a nice little food storage and supply so let's go ahead and have rosalie climb like a monkey once again and go ahead and gather up some of these coconuts phew it's hard work for a snack at least i have some supplies in the steamer trunk now hmm what should i do a fire will be essential to my survival here i need to chop up some wood all right so now it's showing me to go ahead and find some sticks that are on the ground so let's go ahead and pick those up and chop them up so we can go ahead and make like a nice little fire pit to make some fire. We will have fire! Yes, we will. What is this? Is this anything? That's a shadow. That is a shadow. And let's go ahead and see. I guess, yeah, we do have that hatchet, so that should be really useful um, for us. And there she goes. And oh my goodness. You can check how many resources your sim has by looking at the resource counter indicated by the red arrow. So here are our resources that we can go ahead and collect. Awesome. Now that you have collected some resources, you can start using them to make different objects. Open barter mode to see what you can make. The more resources you collect, the more objects you can create. Awesome. And all right now we need to go ahead and light a fire. So if we go ahead and click on barter mode, we have all the different items that we can use our sticks to go ahead and create. So I think we go ahead and go to the survival tab and we're gonna need to make a fire pit. So let's go ahead, click on that, a cooking space, uh, a soft leaf pile. Ooh, I wonder if that's gonna be like our bed. And we have, ooh, we have a nice little sleeper set right here. And then the ash grabber. Uh, I think this is going to be like our garbage pit or something like that but first we go ahead and get our fire pit and let's go ahead and put it kind of like in the center area what about right here and then what else can we get oh there's all different kinds of stuff but we're gonna need tons of resources for that uh what's this stuff uh, a bunch of like rocks and like twigs and stuff oh my goodness and electric oh we can get like a um, we can make ourselves Oh, what is that called? Um, a dream catcher. <laughs> and then, ooh, what's in the smiley face tab? The smiley face tab. Oh, we have some toys. <gasps> Can we have babies? Wait, wait, there's children's toys. Guys, guys. Can we have babies? I hope we can have babies. I want to have babies. Uh, little island babies. All right, so uh, we go ahead and we have our little fire pit now and then we can go ahead and light our fire and see how that goes. And she's still collecting some more wood over here, which is very nice. So I think she's getting quite like good. Like she's getting a really good hang of how to survive at least her very first day. We'll see how it goes. I think there's some different like obstacles that we have to overcome during this story. But yeah, it seems really cool. And it looks like we have like a sun tab or something. And she does have some, uh, let's see, different needs over here. Very similar to all the other Sims games. And she's unemployed. She has some skills over here that she can check out. And her personality, she is, you know, pretty much a good all around Sim. Uh, she's more nice than serious, which is pretty cool. And let's see, she has created fire. I did it. I have discovered fire. She is really good. She's she's good. Uh, and then she also has her fitness over here too. And then here's our inventory uh, story rewards. Ooh, nice. So throughout the story, we get different types of rewards that we can go ahead and unlock. And let's see, career rewards. Ooh, fancy. And then um, aspiration rewards. Since we are a family type of sim, I guess we can get like baby things. Get some baby things. Oh my goodness. And we can go ahead and warm up, sit. Let's go ahead and sit by the fire for now. And now we need to go ahead and make some type of shelter. So let's go ahead and go to the survival tab and pull up this. And where should we put our bed area? Uh, I think we can go ahead and turn this around. And see, I kind of want to keep it on here. Can we go ahead and move this? Yeah, let's go ahead and move this like farther away from our 
that, I think. And then let's go ahead and move. We're already rearranging <laughs> rearranging our island spot. Uh, we've been here for like, you know, two seconds and we're already rearranging. There we go. I think that'll be nice for now. Uh, maybe about, right about there. And then make a nice little homey spot. There we go. I think I like that um, a lot better. So let's go back to living. And goal is to build a shelter. And we have did that. And the breeze catcher, sleeper, and cedar. I should get some sleep. It's not like I'm going to miss out on any raging party. All right. Good idea. So let's go ahead and go to sleep. And see what happens. I hope this is all just a big joke. Elaborate practical joke. Maybe I'm being skunked. So she can't really believe that she is alone on this island and she looks kind of lonely. And then how do I make her go to sleep? Get some rest. Go sleep! There we go. Now she can go ahead and sleep. Maybe she wasn't ready yet. So there we go. We can have her go to sleep and look at that. Oh my goodness. Our very first night on this island and we are sleeping and the camera is like, yo, let's watch her sleep. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What's going on? Is someone watching us? Are we being watched? Oh my god. What is- what? Is that Bigfoot? Is Bigfoot here on the island? Oh my goodness. Guys. Guys. What is it? <gasps> Orangutan! Oh my goodness. Are you gonna steal my coconuts? Guys. Uh oh. Hey. Rosalie, wake up! Wake up! He's going to steal our coconuts. Oh my goodness. Yes. He has taken the coconuts. And the coconuts from the tree too. Oh my goodness. Rosalie. Rosalie? Wake up. Girl. Rangtang raided our camp and took all of our food. So now we are in chapter two. I will survive. What happened last night? It looks like someone or something threw a party and didn't even invite me. Oh my goodness. So I hope you guys enjoyed the very first part of the Sims Castaways stories. It looks like it is raining now and that definitely didn't help our fire situation. And now we have this orangutan running around and, you know, messing up our stuff. It's taking our food. How is little Rosalie going to survive? I have no idea. But make sure you tune in for the next episode as we continue on our adventures in Castaway Stories. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye!